So I figured, let's go back to the basics. You know, I do a lot of videos that are RX-7 specific, and for my RX-7 fans, which are the majority of you, this is an RX-7 part, so don't worry. I'm still using RX-7s. I love my baby. She's uh, over there. Anyway, what I want to do is just talk about the basics of turbochargers. I feel like there was never a good explanation for me, and the only way I found out was by buying a turbocharged car and messing it up. So instead of uh, causing you guys that heartbreak, I figured I could just send this out to the world and uh, hopefully it helps somebody else. So let's simplify this as much as possible. You know there's exhaust, you know there's intake. What, what are they, how are they connected? The only thing that this thing has, it has two fans and a rod that connects them together. That's it. Nothing is shared. There's just two fans and there's a rod connecting them together. Remember that. Always go back to that. I was so confused with all the other things, but that's it. Exhaust gas. When you put your hand over an exhaust pipe, you feel that you know, there's a little bit of pressure. You feel that. What, that, what the concept there was, why don't we take that exhaust gas, feed that through a system, and just spin a fan. That's all there is to this. Exhaust gas goes through here, spins in a nice little circular pattern, comes out as a nice little fan spinning. So right through the center of this fan right here is an axle. That is the only thing that connects these two together. So exhaust gases stay over here, and we'll talk about intake, but the air, intake air stays over here. They don't mix. So all we have is power. We have a little axle being driven by exhaust gases. Oh, what do we have over here? The same damn thing, except it's called a compressor, if you want to be technical. But it's just another little fan. And all that happens is that same axle is running straight through this system, and it's being powered by the other fan, and it's powering this fan. So this fan spins like this, and air, if you put, you know, if you spun this up, which I tried and wanted to do something funny with that, but it failed miserably. If you want to see it, what well, all it is is that one's powering this fan. So this fan's spinning, and you know, you look at the blades, it sucks air straight through here, spins it through, and spins it out there. That's all there is to it. That is, that is, everything I just showed you is the basics of turbochargers. Now, we can get more complicated and talk about housing sizes, ratios, inlet, you know, all that sort of crap, which is amazing. I mean, that's what enthusiasts are for. But all, that it, all it is is you're taking exhaust gas to power the intake air and pressurize it. Instead of having a normally or naturally, look, <laughs> a naturally aspirated engine where air is being sucked into the engine, this is basically babying it, forcing air into it, saying, eat it, eat the air right now. That's, that's all a turbo does. Now, the one last little tidbit of information that I can tell you is if you're, if you're brand new to this, you're going to say, well, doesn't that, doesn't the exhaust powering that fan, doesn't that take a little bit of energy? And you're right, it does. In overall general you know, concept of things, it takes about 2% of your total energy of the engine to power the exhaust side. Now, to compare that to a supercharger, which uh, is a totally different concept, um, that takes about 10%. So it does take a little bit, but you gain so much more um, in the end. So you can you know, get as complicated as you want, but that's it. This is a turbocharger.